Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, it's time to pick my November TBR. We are actually already a few days in. I introduced my new TBR game last month uh, and I really enjoyed playing this, uh, playing this game and I think you all enjoyed it as well. So I'm just gonna, going to continue with it. Let me just quickly go through the prompts of uh, last month. Uh, and what books I chose for them and whether I read them or not. So first I got the Eileen Chang card. For this I wanted to read Our Missing Hearts by Celeste Ng, which I did not read. Um, then I got the Boar card um, and I picked Know My Name by Chanel Miller for that, uh, which I did read. Um, the first prompt was to read a recently acquired book uh, and then I ended up reading Tosca by Matt van Howard for that. The fourth role was The Lantern uh, and I wanted to read Quellen hebben geen oren for that card which I did not read. Role number five, uh, I landed on a star which was a free pick so I ended up choosing my book club book, club book for that. Um, for that role, uh, which I did finish. Number six was an historical fiction and I read Matrix for that by Lauren Groff. Um, number seven was the Peacock uh, and I ended up reading Devotion by Hannah Kent for that prompt. Um, role number eight was a book from Europe, so I read in Modern Verlange by Hannah Berfoots, a Dutch author. Um, and then role number nine was a book with LGBTQIA plus representation. Uh, and I wanted to read um, Heerlijk Monster by Fleur Pirets for that one, but I didn't get to that one either. So all in all, I uh, read six of the books and did not read three of them. Uh, and I said in the game that that means I would move three spaces backwards. Because for every book that I didn't read or for every prompt that I didn't fulfill, I would move the space backwards. So yeah, moving three spaces backward on the board. But then uh, I also had my viewer card or participation card, however you want to call it. Um, and if people read books for that prompt, I could move forward a space. And I've had some replies of people reading, reading some books. So um, I'm just going to check what they were. Uh, I should say that the card that was picked was the tree. So um, let's see if anyone has read anything inspired by this card. Um, so MC has read uh, Lolly Willows by Sylvia Tansett Warner. They said um, it had a tree on the cover. And they'd also said, uh, now that I finished it, I'd say the mean meanings of the card, wisdom, good roots, connections, um, fit this book rather well too. So that's one. Uh, Manny, over reading with Manny, read um, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, which he thought that really fitted perfectly um, fit, uh, with the themes of the card. And then Mardu, Reads Red Assassin's Quest by Robert Hopp, uh, which also had a big tree on the cover. Um, so that's three spaces forward, um, which means I end up at exactly the same spot, uh, which is brilliant. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has replied uh, with a book and who has participated in this game. Uh, I think it's great fun, uh, great fun of you get to join along. So yeah, I'm starting at the exact same spot. I have a couple of plans for November already, but not too much. Um, we, re we are reading this chunky book, the Mitsukoshi Toshi Company by Alka Hulst um, for our book club this month. Um, I'm really hoping to be able to fit this in somewhere uh, because it's a pretty hefty novel. And I, I didn't pick it out myself. Um, it doesn't mean I don't want to read it, but it's very much a three-star prediction rather than a five-star prediction. Um, and it has like, yeah, it's like 
600 pages. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really hoping that this book will surprise me in a in a good way uh, and also that I can fit it into my TBR and not have to read it on top of all the books I'm already picking for my TBR. Uh, and then I am also buddy reading The Break by Katharina Fermet with um, Margaret Pinard, uh, who is another booktuber on here. Uh, she's an author as well. Uh, I'll link her channel down below. She reached out to me in the comments of another person's video um, where I replied I, I wanted to read this book. Um, so yeah, we are going to read this together. Um, we haven't really discussed uh, like how fast we will read it or anything, but um, yeah, we're going to read it in November. Um, so those are the two books that I will definitely read, regardless whether they will fit into the game or not. Uh, and then it's also non-fiction November. I haven't read that much non-fiction this year uh, in comparison to last year, so I'd love to actually fulfill as much prompts with non-fiction books uh, as I can this month. So yeah, that's it. That's what I wanted to say before we go into the game. Um, yeah, let's get to the rolls. Okay, so we left off right over here last time and that's where we're going to start today. Um, I decided to do eight rolls today um, just because I felt the nine of last time was a little bit too much. Uh, so I'm going to do eight rolls. Um, roll number one is five. One, two, three, four, five. And that is one of the regular prompts. And that says emotional. Uh, that's one of the uh, story graph prompts. Roll number two is four. One, two, three, four. Another prompt, buzzwords color. Roll number three is one. Another prompt card. That is an indie press. Roll number four is a one again, and that is a book buying prompt. says a book with POC representation. Roll number five is three. One, two, three. Another prompt card. That's a five star prediction. Roll number six. That's two. One, two. Another prompt card. That's a book with a name in the, in the title. Roll number seven. That's one. So that's our first um, oracle card. Uh, and that's the skull. Uh, and then the final roll is four. One, two, three, four. And the last prompt card is a book with a body of water on the cover. So my first role was Emotional, which is a story graph prompt where you can uh, pick books based on different moods and one of them is Emotional. And I have two non-fiction books which were categorized as Emotional. Uh, the first one is Disability Visibility, an essay collection uh, by Alice Wong, so that would be an option. Uh, and the other one is All That She Carried, The Journey of Ashley Sack, A Black Family Keepsake by um, Tia Miles, which is the book I just hauled. Um, that was another option. Then roll number two was Buzzwords Colour, um, so any book which has a colour in the title. And for that I'm reading White's White Tears, Brown Scars, How White Feminism Betrays Women of Color by Ruby Hamad. Um, 
obviously it has white and brown uh, in the title and I think the subtitle explains perfectly what this book will, ab will be about. Then role number three was a book by an indie press uh, and I will be reading World of Wonders which is published by um, Souvenir Press um, which I looked up and um, used to be an indie press until quite recently. Now it's an imprint of another indie press so I don't know if it technic technically counts but you know it's not published by one of the like big publishing houses so um, for me it counts. Um, this is an essay collection on the natural world animals. I, I think it maybe also encapsulates bigger topics um, but yeah well, I'll have to wait and see uh, before I can judge on that one. Role number four was a book by Imprompt uh, and that was a book by a POC author um, and I actually meant to change these prompts before I came in because someone pointed out to me that a person of color like white is also a color so um, I had meant to change these prompts um, and just say like black author or Asian author um, and be more specific. For now I'm just gonna see if I can find a book by a black author to to buy, um, which I think should be no problem at all. Prompt number five was a five star prediction uh, and The Break by Katharina Fermat is definitely a five star prediction for me. It has the magical buzzwords intergenerational family saga on the back, which uh, I usually very, very much enjoy. So that's a five star prediction. Role number six was a book with a name in the title. Uh, and I picked Travels with Charlie by John Steinbeck. Um, Charlie is or was um, John Steinbeck's dog and together they traveled throughout the USA um, and this is an account of that time together. Um, so yeah, Charlie. Prompt number seven we finally got one of the um, oracle cards uh, I believe last time we got about five and now only one. Um, uh, and that was the skull. Um, and the booklet says on that one. Um, mm, uh, skull transitions reality and grief. Um, and thank goodness because this big book will fit that prompt very well. This is a book about a man who has recently lost his daughter um, and he is getting a robot who looks like a, a young girl um, sort of to replace his, his daughter in a way. Um, so it will definitely deal with grief. Obviously it's a science fiction kind of book so um, you know the, the twist on reality is interesting here um, so yeah that's the book I'll be reading for the card Skull and then the last roll was another regular prompt and that was a book with a body of water on the cover I had a look um, through my non-fiction books for a book with water on the cover um, and this is a bit of a stretch because there is water because I know it's a, about the coastline so I'm guessing this is sort of a depiction of a coastline but it's very abstract so I'm not sure it counts. Um, I also have two fiction books options which are Swimming in the Dark which obviously has water in the background and then The Wind Eater by Carrie Hume also has a sea or a lake or you know a body of water on the cover. Any one of those I will try to read in November. So here is my TBR um, or rather my pile of possibilities for November. 
Um, I'm very happy I uh, managed to fit so much non-fiction in uh, and I'm hoping to get to lots of them. Now all I have left to do is pick a card for you. So I've got my stack of cards here and the card is a rabbit. Um, let me see what the booklet says on that. Rabbit, um, the words associated with that are waiting, making leaps and adventure. So I already can think of lots of possibilities for that one. Um, I mean waiting, it could be a book you've been waiting to uh, wait to be released or has been on your shelf for a long time waiting for you to read it. Um, adventure, that's obvious, an adventure story, someone going traveling, someone going on an adventure in this book. Um, making leaps could be a non-fiction book that gives you some new insights. You could obviously do something with an actual picture of the rabbit. I mean there's been some books with bunnies on the cover lately. I think there's loads of options. Yeah, let me know by the end of the month if you've read any books that are connected to this card. Um, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, I am really excited about this deck. Uh, like I said, quite a few non-fiction books, which is really, really great. Um, yeah, leave any comments, thoughts or anything you want to share in the comments down below uh, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye bye.